you want to do your schoolwork? Okay, well, that's what I was just telling them about. I'm getting some schoolwork ready for my kids to do while I go and get ready, and then I will get started on my work. So what do you want to do today, honey? What do you want to do? This? Okay. All right, so I'll get something out for you and brother, and then I'll go get ready, okay? All right. So what I do with my son who is in kindergarten is every day we work on handwriting and reading and math. Those are kind of the staples of our day that we do every day, no matter what. Over the last several days, he's been writing out his numbers, like the word one, the word two. And so I'm just going to have him practice on this notepad today, but I am going to help him out by writing it first. He'll trace it and then he'll write it on his own. I'm gonna get that prepared for him. And then I'm gonna go get ready and then I'll do some work while my kids do their schoolwork. Okay, my kids decided they wanted to play for a little bit longer before they do their schoolwork. Shocking, right? So I am going to embrace this time that they are playing nicely together and get some of my work done. And I'm working on putting together a little bit better of a uh, social media calendar. A lot of different kind of marketing people online will recommend their free calendar on how they plan their social media. So I've printed off several different options to see if any of those would work for me. And none of them do, of course, because you have to customize it to your own business. So I've kind of been taking pieces from this marketing calendar and that marketing calendar and piecing them together into something that would work for me and my job. I do need to make some posts today. I want to post on Nextdoor because Nextdoor has been doing great for us as far as organic marketing goes. And I do a little bit of paid advertising on Nextdoor as well. We are a local service company. My philosophy is to go with what works. So Nextdoor has been actually getting us clients at a very reasonable price. And so I'm gonna post on Nextdoor today. I need to make a post on our Google business page, Facebook, I have a whole list here. So I read this book a couple of months ago and it has a lot of really great ideas for making a better YouTube channel that I just haven't had the time to act on yet. But one thing that I know that I need to do for this channel is to work on my thumbnail photos. Anyway, so I need to take some better quality pictures of myself in these different types of thumbnails. Um, you know, with people respond better to a thumbnail that has a face in it that is showing some kind of emotion. So he's recommending, you know, a fearful face, an angry face, sad, happy, disgusted, and surprised. Sorry, my kids are so loud right now. I'm looking at our Nextdoor account right now, and just to give you a point of reference, I'm looking at our performance summary of our last ad that I posted. Sorry about the kids again. And you can target specific zip codes. So for a service company, this is very, very important. And it says, you know, 4,345 people saw our ad at an average view per person like three times. So that's a pretty good frequency. And the cost to reach each person was five cents. That's a crazy good cost per impression. So um, I'm loving Nextdoor. If you're a service company, highly recommend. I just posted on Nextdoor. You can see it here. What I found performs the best is doing some informational posts. Like this post is about the best HVAC tips for homeowners. And so the headline is, what's the one thing to know about your heating and air conditioning system? Well, let's do your schoolwork and then you can play Legos, okay? Okay. This is a good one. Yeah. This is Henry learns to help. He always helps Henry catch the biggest fish, but his grandpa has a lot to do each day and doesn't have time to take him. Is that a good one? Okay. Yeah. The end. Do you want to read another one? Okay. All right. What's this one? Pups save the monkeys. Name. Nay. Nay. What's it say? Pay. Ray. Say. Way. K. Yeah. Clay. Uh -huh. Gray. Pay. Mm -hmm. Play. Play. Can. Mm -hmm. Say. Play. Wa. With. K. Very good. What does it say? The. Day was, was was great. Very good. High five. Okay, you're done. You can go play.
Paige, can we play Legos? Schoolwork is over for the day. A lot of people are curious on um, how long school takes to do with my kids. And since they're so young, like my son is in kindergarten and my daughter's preschool age, really 45 minutes max. Otherwise, they just get burnt out on the actual school related stuff. Um, what you just saw, what I was doing with my son, he's working on learning how to read, and so we use Alpha Phonics. If you are interested in homeschooling your kids or helping them learn how to read, Alpha Phonics is a great resource. It was written by a man named Samuel Blumenfeld, and he's written a lot about literacy and how to learn how to read and why um, there are so many reading problems. So if you're interested in that, my son's doing an awesome job. Now, every kid is different in how they learn how to read, but he's doing great and it's been really easy for us to do every day. Mostly what my daughter is doing is learning how to properly grip a pencil and working on her coordination with it. Um, and so it just doesn't take very long. And the rest of the day, it's not like they're not learning. Um, they love to help me cook in the kitchen. I have lots of maps around the house that they love to look at and learn the names of states and countries and capitals and things like that. So we do a lot of that stuff just throughout the day. But as far as the actual structured sitting down time, yeah, no more than 45 minutes. They don't consider reading books to be work. And it's been really enjoyable. And I've been kind of surprised on how I can work pretty efficiently from home while having them here um, because they are, they've just had to learn how to play together really well. We have the rest of the day to enjoy together. Like, like I said, I really only, my marketing manager job right now is not full time, it's part time. Um, and then I do this channel as well. So um, I will in time be ramping up my working hours, but um, while the kids are little, they need, they need a little bit more mommy time than than when they're older. So now that school's over, I'm gonna get back to doing my social media posts for the day. I'm scheduling some things for next week. For real behind the scenes here. I am, I have my YouTube formula book in front of me for reference points on the shots that I need to get. I'm standing in front of the window for the best light. Fearful, angry, sad, happy, disgusted, surprised. All right, six different ones. So let's do fearful. How's this look? Is that fearful? <laughs> see, angry. That's my best angry face. <laughs> disgusted. Cool. Another tip that I thought was really good in this book, he says that when you're doing research on types of thumbnails that will work best for you, he says Netflix has some of the best thumbnails on the planet. They spend a lot of money trying to perfect the science of grabbing viewer attention. So he regularly browses Netflix just to look at their thumbnails and see kind of like their design. I am going to upload those photos and Photoshop them to be usable for a thumbnail. So hopefully that will help my videos get more clicks. gonna start doing one of my favorite Christmas things, which is addressing the envelopes for our Christmas cards. I don't know why, I just find it therapeutic. I sit on my bed here, I have my little stand, and I watch TV, I'll watch a Dateline episode or something like that, and just address these envelopes and get the cards stuffed and sent out. And I don't know, I just, I love doing this. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for today. I will see you tomorrow for another marketing manager working from home vlogmas. I hope you have an amazing day. Merry Christmas, I'll see you tomorrow.